It's the insane board game freak show. Your host, me, the insane board game freak. Okay, now we're going back to the dungeon. We're gonna go back to the dungeon, everybody. Like you just can't wait, right? All right. Here we go. With some more. Fantasy Flight game style Dungeon Quest, the board game. Quick, back to the board game room. We're gonna still learn how to play this game. <laughs> All right, we're back now with some more Dungeon Quest from Fantasy Flight Games, the board game. Now, okay, so in this game. We were talking about uh, the last episode about this game. Uh, I was talking about combat and showing you how combat is. And um, yep. Okay, so combat tips and stuff. You gotta cancel cards. Um. You know, sign damage and stuff, okay? So all this, as I said, at your leisure time, I just give the reviews about the games by just, you know, showing you the instructions, and that's basically it. You know, you make the time to read it yourself and see if this is the game for you or not, and if you're interested or not, okay? So, death blow, all right, standoffs, okay? End of combat. Cancel cards. Hero victory. Monster victory. Okay, that's what happens when the hero wins, the monsters win. Alright, now here's examples, pictures. So you don't have to really read it. And I don't have to go to extremes of showing you. You know, here's the... um. The combat example with a basic attack. Okay. You see that? Okay, so the skeleton reveals a magic attack with an attack value of two. Then Lindell reveals a magic attack with their attack value of three. Okay. So we need your skeleton stack. The damage stack. Alright. And then the combat stack. Lindell's damage stack. Okay. Combat example standoff. Alright, so both cards are the same attack value. And, uh... But Lindell has the option... To counterattack because his card's magic counterattack icon matches his opponent's magic attack icon. Or uh, magic attack type, rather. So, Lindell chooses to not to counterattack. So, a standoff results. Both cards are then placed on the combat stack. See? So, you stack them like that. And that's how you battle. And then you see who wins with a score. Combat example three. Counter attack. You got the weapon. It matches. So then check this out. All right. Alright, and that's how that is with the uh, combat. Now, combat example, the death blow is going to be like so.
Okay, you get it? So, I mean, I prefer the old combat technique. And if you want, you can do it that way. You know, just bust out that board if you have it. But, I don't know. The attack is alright. I mean, it's easy to understand, but I just don't feel like going all through it. You know, an explanation where I can just show you the instructions. You know, I'm going to end up doing the same thing anyway, so. <laughs> I mean, what the hell, man, you know? All right, I hope you get it and understand it because that's it. <laughs> you could check it out on somebody else's channel. All right. All right, so exploring the catacomb. So each time you want to explore the catacomb or explore the dungeon, where whenever you're going through the staircase and stuff, you know, going down to the catacombs, you're going to be using one of these tokens here. Okay, and you're going to go, you're not going to lay down tiles, but each time you enter a grid square, okay, you're going to draw a catacomb card and see what you're going to be going through. So you just bumped into this guy, the sneak attack. This is what's going to happen. This is what happens. This is what should happen. All right, you're going to read that and get through it. If not, you lose. All right. You dead. All right. So that's basically it with that. Don't forget to put these markers down on those parts. All right. So when you go down into the uh, catacombs or the dungeon. All right. So whenever you enter somewhere or do anything, really, every little fart I said, you got to take a card and do it and see what it says and do what it says and does. All right. That's basically it. That's the game. So. Um, so these are your travel markers that you're going to be using when traveling into the catacombs. All right. And you got to use this, the entrance ways. I showed you that before and I just spoke to you about it. All right. Encounters in the end catacombs here. All right. Exiting catacombs. All right. So. You know, for, for 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 a game that had less instructions back in the day, they really went over the limit to go to extremes for more extra instructions to do the same thing that you're doing that you did like 40 years ago, basically. <laughs> you know, I mean, I hate to sound like that, but it's true. I mean, come on. But that's basically it. So, and then... Okay, so this is what happens when you're going to go down to catacombs. All right. And when you want to jump out, you jump out. You can use an exit card. If you have an exit card, you can play it, and then you exit out. Okay? Sometimes you might encounter an enemy or treasures. All right, and then you hop back out and you're back into the labyrinth there, the dungeon, whatever you want to call it. And then when you go into the dungeon, you grab a dungeon card, and then when you get back into the dungeon, and then you grab a card and you see what it says, oh, now you got to face this guy, okay? And if you roll a two, you're killed, three to 12, continue your turn as normal, all right? That's that. So... I mean, this game is really cool. Don't get me wrong. It's a fun game. Yeah, I'm just saying. This all You got so many instructions for every little, you know, thing. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't show you, uh, you know, like uh, every little instruction. Never mind. I don't, I don't want to get too, <laughs> too, too rude and obnoxious about it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just... I'll be nice about it. I'm sure I'm, you know, I'm surprised they don't give you instructions about how to brush your teeth, you know? So. That's a better way of saying it. Nicer way of saying it. <laughs> you can just imagine 
the things I say, it comes out of my mouth sometimes, what I really would have said. But anyway, that's it. Well, I'm from New York, you know, I'm an, out, I'm an outspoken person, so. <laughs> so anyway, what do you call it? That's that with that. Example, attribute tests, healing, eliminated players, okay. Uh, going at it alone, you know, like a solo game. Okay. And that's basically it. You got your monster tokens here. So these monster tokens um, do not just disappear when a hero escapes and kill them, okay? Uh, the monster lurks in the chamber until the next hero comes along. The presence of the monster that is lingering in, in this manner is marked with a monster token. Thus, the monster player places a monster token in a chamber when a hero encounters a monster and either escapes it or kills it or, or is it killed by it. All right, so whenever you enter in another, another tile... Okay, if there's like a monster logo or something like that, or you encounter a monster, all right, then you got to take a monster, you know, you take like a, a door, you know, um, card or whatever kind of card you take, and then, uh, you know, you see a monster's on it, you grab a monster card, okay, and uh, now you got to fight the monster, so you're going to take one of these monsters tokens, and you're going to put it on a tile, and then you gotta battle it or something like that, okay? You gotta fight it off or whatever the heck. Alright. So now if that makes any sense. Alright. Okay. Alright, using ruins. Optional rules. Alright. Uh cloak and dagger, you can loot. Magical Might. Multiple monsters in a chamber. Adding more monsters. Attacking heroes. Alright. Live to fight another day. Alright, no guts, no glory. Late start. Tower power, heroes versus hero combat. All right, so you just get a, a brief example. Now your legendary heroes is going to tell you about your heroes and stuff. Okay, uh, clarifications. Yeah, with threats and combat and stuff. All right, limited resources. All right, multiple heroes in a chamber. Emerging from the catacombs, escaping from a monster, star of turn effects. These are just clarifications. All right, and that that's pretty much basically it. Um, here are your different monsters: Bane, Spider, okay, Razor Wing, Naga, Deep Elf, okay, Shade, Ferox. All right, and then like the other uh, old game, it's going to show you um, the chamber descriptions, okay? So whenever you're in a dungeon room, you grab a dungeon card, okay? Trap room, you draw a trap card. Treasure chamber, you draw a dragon card. Bottomless pit, okay? Then you test your luck. Catacomb entrance, draw a dungeon card. And then when you go into the catacomb, you draw a catacomb card. Okay, you get it? That's it. Self-explanatory here. The chasm. Tells you how to get across, the, how to hop the chasm, get across the chasm. Uh, chamber of darkness. So the whole room is blacked out. And you, go, you can't see a thing. It's dark in there. All right. Who turned out the lights? Yip. Tower room. Chamber descriptions, okay, yeah, cave-in, what to do, that's the cave-in description, spider web description, okay, 
porculus description. The bridge description. And last but not least, the rotating room description. Okay, this is a cool one. Okay. All right. So now, uh, rule summary, player's turn, moving, searching, attribute tests. As if you haven't seen enough of it yet. Encountering monsters. Escaping. More about escaping. Combat. And that's basically it. Alright, that's Dungeon Quest. Now let's go see my final thoughts about the game. Alright, so... Final thoughts. Now, what do I think about this game? Wow, 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 wow. Awesome. Excellent game. I love this game a whole lot. Um, because it's really, really fun to play, and it's exciting. Just like the old one from 1987 from Games Workshop, uh, the first edition of Dungeon Quest. Uh, I like how, you know, everything's basically the same. So, um, if you forget how to play this game, you can and you remember more about how to play the old game, play it the old way. You can still do that. Uh, the only thing that they added was like the catacombs and, you know, um, going in and out of the catacombs and drawing cards for catacombs, drawing cards where you go back into the dungeon, um, going into different rooms, every single room that you enter, you got to draw a card for that room, you know? So, and you can always go back to the reference chart table in the, uh, in the, in the book, or should I say the textbook? Cause this book is like tons of instructions and stuff. Uh, the dice are cool. The tokens are cool. I love the artwork in this game. is It's, you know, amazing. The miniatures are really cool, you know. It's Fantasy Flight, so what do you expect? Uh, the character cards are cool and easy to read. Uh, it's fun to read. I, I like the new way of combat, in a sense, but I prefer the old way of combat. Uh, the, the dragon cards are basically the same. You know, just don't wait the dragon. The rune cards are cool with the magic spells and stuff. That's cool, too. I like that. That's that's a new addition, I think, to the game. Uh, I like how you can go into the catacombs, and you gotta use the tokens to make it like you're going through the catacombs, and each room, each instead of drawing a tile, each um, square space that you um, land on or something that, that you go into, you gotta, you know, take a, um, a what do you call it, a catacomb card and see what... It, happens and what you gotta go through in that situation of going through that space you know so it, it, it's pretty cool i like this game a lot it's really cool um uh that's um you know like uh i don't know it's just a great game so um so never mind what anybody else says about oh dungeon quest whatever you know like um you know like because I, I i've heard some complaints about the game and stuff like that but you know, don't worry about it. You be the judge. See for yourself if you like the game or not. Uh, I definitely love this game. So, you know, that that's the game. That's how it's played. So, but, um, you know, I, I think it's great that the game can end like that. Or the game can go on for as long as it takes for you to finish. Before, you know, in accordance to the, the game board, you know, the, the sun chart, whatever. The day's over, you know. So... I think it's, it's it's a great grand slam of a game. It's really cool, fun, exciting, suspenseful. And, you know, it, it's got mystery because, you know, you're choosing your own adventure. You're deciding what to do, where to go, and your own choice and decisions. And it's got a cause and effect to it. So it, it's really cool. It's a grand slam of a game. I like it a lot. That's Dungeon Quest from Fantasy Flight Games Edition. The board game. That's it for Terry. By it looks like this game is over. Board game. Freak out.